Yeah, obviously, um, you want to be playing um, every time available. Uh, but that's rugby, and um, my m main job there is just to kind of help the team out through all, throughout the week and give them the best support and in the training pitch that they needed and um, put them in the best way for the game on the weekend. And yeah, the boys have the boys have performed really well. Is it uh, exciting the prospect of? getting back into the side then and, and showing what you can do at Murrayfield again? Yeah, um, see what happens with team selection this week and uh, hopefully if I'm, I'm involved then I'll uh, and I'll um, just try and do my thing and uh, hopefully we can get the win, uh, which should be should be a really good game. You got a couple of starts at, at 15 for under your belt now for Scotland, but also we've, we've seen you play on, on the wing more in the, in the Six Nations. Do you accept you'll maybe have to bounce between the two while you kind of establish yourself at test level? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I've said it before. Just kind of wherever, wherever the coach sees fit, I'm I'm more than happy to play it. Whether that's on the wing, full back, or not involved, um, that's just rugby. I'm, but yeah, no, more than happy to play in the wing. You feel like you're starting to get to know wing a lot better, because you kind of stand off and then back to fifteen with Edinburgh, and then <laughs> is wing quite a bit different? Is there a is there a different kind of way of, of looking at the game? Uh, <laughs> In pieces, yeah, but yeah, I've said it before, 15 and wing are pretty similar in a way. Um, the back three all work really closely together, so you kind of get a fair understanding of, of each position. Um, I have played quite a few games on the wing now, so I, I feel comfortable there. We've seen Gregor tell um, Adam in terms of keeping his field not just to compete with Finn, but to actually take his jersey off. You know, is Gregor giving you that same message in terms of how you'll get shot home? Uh, he's just kind of he's just kind of told me to keep developing my own game, um, keep doing what I've been doing uh, throughout the last couple of seasons, and just bring all my little parts parts of my game, uh, my small skills. Uh, so when you're under pressure in a game, you can perform at the highest level. How do you view that battle with Stuart? I mean, it's obviously such a big fight on the sport. I mean, can you see at times that he's sort of unshakable for that that jersey? I uh, look. Like he's a really he's a really world class player. Um, you can see that he's massively experienced, um, so I'm just trying to learn as much as I can from him, from his uh, from his knowledge that he's gathered over the years, and yeah, just trying to just trying to learn from one of the best in the world. You do have to believe that you can you can take his jersey off. I suppose that's the whole name of the game. I suppose. Yeah, definitely. I think everyone's trying to everyone's trying to get into a starting jersey, um, but I feel I feel I just want to learn as much as possible, and then if my chance comes, my chance comes. What about the Argentines? How do you how do you view that chance? Of yeah, they're obviously they're a really uh, really good team uh, under new management. They've been performing really well. Um, so yeah, we know they're vastly skillful and really physical as well. So it'll be a it'll be a be a really good game. You've obviously got a big chance in terms of the situation. Kind of developing some momentum to win the big factor against last weekend. I think we're just kind of uh, looking at this game as as a, um, a game on its own. Um, we know what we need to fix from last week, and we'll do that throughout the week, and then we'll come to a packed out uh, BT Murrayfield and hopefully put a good, good performance in. Okay, we want to take again, please. Thank you.